Reba, 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 what are you doing? They're all inside their little house now. You're not really sure what to do, are you? You don't know whether to eat one or love it. <laughs> I'm Robert and um, I brought some extra chickens to the house and there are lots of little baby chickens over there and they're pretty fun um, one of them got squished by the other baby chicks and then each chip almost squished another one with the waterer did squish well it didn't die so <clears throat> laid underneath that water thing for 20 minutes and I was, was gonna die. I was counting and was like, how many? There are only 10 or whatever. And he said, what? I fixed that water earlier. And then he went and lifted it up and it was just like, but it lived. So that was a good thing. Seems to have recovered. Well, so far it's living. Reba and Roscoe are feeling left out here lately. They don't like them. We... The, or they like them a lot. I can't we tell. We don't know. Um, but we put them on their backs, and Roscoe was really scared, and Reba was okay with one being on her for a little bit. It kind of rode around with her for a few seconds, and then she decided she didn't like it. But there are 11, no, how many now? Nine? 11. Yes, there are 11 total. Would have been 12. <clears throat> and uh, five... Cornish. Did you already say this? There are five Cornish and some Isa Blues. No, brown. ISA brown. <coughs> Isa Blues. But that's not really their name. It's ISA brown. And they're pullets. And they're really friendly. What other breed? Oh, I forgot. Three reds. Oh, and there are three reds in there, but I didn't really know that for sure because the browns and the reds look very similar but those cornish ones are little yellow things they're kind of smaller than the others right now too and the i don't know which ones are flying one of the round browns or the reds are flying up on top of their little brood house thing their little it's warm like the browns <clears throat> the browns i mean each it thinks that they're older we gave them some broccoli and they pecked at it and one of them moved it 
One of those browns has a swollen vent, and I don't know what to do about it. Oh, a swollen vent. Mm -hmm. Well, you could probably rub its butt with a wet washcloth, a warm wet, wet washcloth, and it might help. Mm, I can't wait. <laughs> or I could just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I guess. It's got a bad case of hemorrhoids or something. It has a coalaca. I don't even know it's something like that. I don't know how to say it. Cloaca. Cloaca. It's like going to that music festival. Conchara. Cuchu. What's that famous music festival? Coachella? Coachella. Coachella. The last chickens we had were fun. We had three. We had, we had, remember we had the ones and then we went away and they came, we came back and they were killed by some critter. And then we got some more. We'll link to the video on that. <laughs> and we kept um, those until we moved out here. They were really fun. I liked it when they... Good producers. Mm -hmm, they did. They laid one egg a day forever, it seemed. And they were pretty good about eating bugs and stuff, too. They ate a toad. That was funny one day, too. <laughs> well, I didn't... I never knew that they would eat, like, a toad, but it makes sense. Oh, you didn't, right? It's big. Well, they each other. Well, that's true. But it was kind of a big thing. Yeah, a big toad. Chickens are growing. It's been about a week since we've had them. We've gotten a little bit bigger. And um, <clears throat> we're practicing what we call cold brooding here. It's what's known as cold brooding. No heat lamps. No artificial source of heat. Uh, the birds are growing based upon their own body heat. Huddling together and things like that. Okay, so as I understand it, the secret to cold brooding is providing, well, first of all, making sure that they're not in a super cold environment because they just won't survive. But besides that, I mean, if you can keep them in an environment where you've got, you know, an ambient temperature, 60s to 80s or something like that, like your house, then they'll be just fine so long as they have a place to go where they can huddle in uh, together and keep warm whenever they're cold. I noticed they're outgrowing their house, which was, uh, I think, a 8 by 8 box. I think this is a 12, this is a 15 by 12. And I cut it down a little bit to shorten it uh, so it'll hold more heat because um, they don't need anything really tall. But as you can see, I just lined it with foil. And uh, then what they do is at night, just like they would go into a, a chicken house or whatever, uh, they just go inside here. And this foil is reflective. It reflects their body heat. When they huddle together, they're even warmer. And uh, they're just fine. Now, they say that chickens don't grow as quickly. The chicks don't grow as quickly when they're cold brooded. And I suppose I can testify to that. I, I expect them to be a little bit bigger by now. Some of them are, and some of them aren't. Some of them have stayed smaller than others, even though they were all about the same size when I got them. Um, the, the oldest ones in here are those ISA Browns, that one back there by the water uh, trough. Um, uh, I think they're about a week older than the others, I think. And then, you know, a couple of these Cornish, those yellow peepers, a couple of those are pretty big, and a couple of them are and one of them's really small, that one over there, and he's he's not fledging out as quickly as the others. So you know, uh, you know, there there um, there's some variability here, I guess. But they say that cold brooding produces a more vigorous chicken. Uh, that they're even though they're small starting out, that they eventually catch up and do just fine. Um, and are actually more vigorous than, uh, you know, those raised under a heat lamp or a, a brooding station or whatever. So I'm going to switch out this box. I'm thinking, hoping, thinking and hoping, just a couple more weeks of this with them here in the house, and then <clears throat> they'll be fledged enough where they can go outside. Because, uh, you know, the house isn't very big. It's a pretty good-sized cage. And, um, you know, they, they, they just, you know... Having them in the house every little while gets annoying. So, anyway, there it is. Cold brooding.
Oh, oh, oh.